May Riley and her best friend Mary Fitzpatrick are working at a Hamptons resort on their summer vacation, just trying to shake things up and have some fun away from home. They quickly hit it off with Richard Parker and his bro Ben Parker, part of the resort staff too, and the four of them start hanging out. After a few days of busting their chops and dealing with demanding guests, May and Mary hit up a dance. Post-dance, they go for a night swim before heading back to their rooms. May brings Ben to her room, and they're crashing together, getting intimate. On the flip side, Mary's telling Richie to pump the brakes because she's not quite ready to have sex with him. Later on, she spills the beans that a palm reader warned her about becoming a mom before hitting 20 if she had sex during her teenage years. The same fortune teller told May that no one would ever call her mom, which kind of explains why May is so laid back about relationships. Richie, not getting why Mary won't sleep with him, goes ahead and has a thing with May. May comes clean to Mary that she's cheating on Ben, but keeps the who a secret. Fast forward a bit, and May finds out that she's pregnant. Thinking the fortune teller got it all wrong, Mary finally sleeps with Richie, who then calls it quits with May. When May spills the pregnancy news to Ben, turns out he's shooting blanks, and the secret affair with Richie, who's likely the dad, gets blown wide open. May's thinking about having an abortion, but then changes her mind. Scared to face her dad with an unwanted kid, she decides to hit the road. May finds a man to stay with, but she keeps her pregnancy on the down low. Over time, she's grossed out by the dude. May gets in touch with Mary, and they meet up. Mary is still pretty mad about May messing around with Richie and says she deserves the mess she's in. But when May drops the bomb about thinking of suicide, Mary decides to step in. Mary comes up with this plan to tell everyone that the baby is hers, so May won't have to deal with her strict parents. Plus, Mary wants to see if she can trust Richie, who's still sending her love letters that she hasn't bothered to reply to. After May gives birth to a healthy baby boy named Peter, Mary takes him to Richie, and they patch things up to start a family. Meanwhile, May returns home to her folks who knew what happened but never said a word. Mary and Richie tied the knot, making baby Peter all official. Later, Ben and May have a chat, and right before they split ways, Ben hooks May up with a driving instructor and hands her his number. Cut to the dance floor, Ben glances back at May just as she's checking out the instructor's number, only to realize it's Ben's number.